Well, today is a day of a lot of emotions here at WBTV. Certainly mixed emotions. Mm. It is my last day at WBTV. After being here for 18 years, it has been an amazing run, which I'm very grateful uh, for. We are grateful that you've been here with us. We wanted to share with you, Mo, and also you at home, some of the memories we're going to cherish of Maureen's time here at WBTV. Can't wait. Maureen's journey to WBTV stretches back decades. A Charlotte native and graduate of West Charlotte High School, she always had the dream of working here. Her career in television news started in Eastern North Carolina, eventually leading her to anchor the nationally syndicated news magazines Extra and A Current Affair. Hello everyone, I'm Maureen O'Royal. Welcome to A Current Affair. But in 2004, her journey brought her back to local news in Charlotte at WBTV. Good evening, I'm Maureen O'Boyle. Glad you're with us tonight. We begin with what's happening right now. On WBTV News Primetime at 7 o'clock, she helped you get caught up on the news after your busy day. She's devoted much of her time outside of the newsroom to groups in the community, taking part in events like the Sandbox Prom designed specifically for families whose child has cancer or other life-altering illnesses. She's been a champion for women, working closely with Dress for Success, raising money for programs that help women get jobs, and her personal passion for helping survivors of sexual assault. Maureen sharing her own story of survival. I've got something personal to share and to ask of you. You may or may not know, but in 1986, I was raped by James Starling when I was a news anchor in Macon, Georgia. Many of you rallying alongside her to help keep her rapist behind bars when he was up for parole. From powerful one-on-one -on -one interviews. Did you ever imagine he was capable of such violence? Never in a million years, and it makes me sick. To even reporting on the lives of mothers behind bars. Maureen has always had a passion for sharing your stories. And it was a robbery to get money to buy the drugs. Pretty much. I was the driver. Over the years, she's been along the route for the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Happy Thanksgiving. We're so glad that you're here with us. And ringing in the new year in Uptown during first night. It's nice, but it's really, it's festive weather. It's the perfect weather for an evening like this. We're going to be dancing. We've got great music coming up. She's been on your side at WBTV for nearly two decades. Thank you, Maureen. We uh, had a little gathering of our newsroom staff here today. And listen, your impact on this community is going to go on forever because of all the great charitable work, obviously, you do. Um, but you really, you, you've always looked at this, this job as going through the lens of the community and the people you love. And I think that's been the important part of, of your reporting here I, at WBCV. I, I, you know, I appreciate you pointing that out because that is what I'm so grateful for. Because when I was on national television, I never really belonged to any community. But belonging here from the mountains to upstate South Carolina and everywhere in between, thank you so very much. I promised I was not going to get emotional, <laughs> but you guys have led me into your homes. You've trusted me and counted on us. Well, and and you, we appreciate that. And to be able to come home. Don't cry. To be able to come oh, home, though, Maureen, to be with your family, to raise your daughter, I, you know, in the city in which you grew up in, I mean, yeah. I know how important that's been to you. Born right here. So yeah. I'm one of those few Charlatans, and I don't plan on going anywhere right away. I am enjoying my life for a little while and stepping away from news and I'm just taking a break. And yeah. we'll see what happens next. When I open up that antique store that I've dreamt <laughs> of my whole life since I was a little girl, I will certainly let you know. And Hopefully you'll come and visit for uh, on absolutely. your side tonight. Uh, oh, we will. We'll do a nice little story. <laughs> a little plug. About it. I might bring a few things home um, <laughs> yes. as well. And I know you're going to stay connected to the community and absolutely. some of the charities that you've worked with. You know, I've already got my, my first Friday that I'm off the air. I'm doing Chef's Best for Second Harvest Food Bank because anytime Second Harvest calls, I answer. It is one of the organizations I've been profiling. And I hope you'll join me tonight mm. at 7 o'clock on prime time because I'm going a little deeper into what was that journey back to Georgia to fight for for justice and also right. meet the people who helped me along the way. The organization Safe Alliance that literally changed the trajectory of my surviving wow. that. And it's changed me as a woman, so I hope you'll watch. Oh, you're so brave to share your stories throughout all of this. You, and uh, yeah, we're not done yet. You got a seven o'clock <laughs> exactly. hour. Exactly, I gotta keep to it together. Through, so yeah, no more misting up, okay?